welcome you to Hoop Hall South, presented by Walmart. The final game of this Friday night, and it's a rivalry game between the Bentonville Tigers and the Bentonville West Wolverines. Derek Ruskin, Blair Cartwright here on the scene to bring it to you, and Blair, this is a a little bit different atmosphere for this one than we've seen earlier today. This place yes. is pretty full. It is electric, to say the least. Student bodies from both schools on hand. It's going to be a great atmosphere for basketball. And what a way to cap off what has been a phenomenal day, too, here at Hoop All South. The Wolverines come in 8-0. Bentonville comes in 7-1 70, uh, seven on the year. And the Wolverines will start Caleb Krusenberry and, uh, along with Tucker Anderson and Zaire James, Dawson Price, and Tucker Bowman and a forward, a for Greg White's team. Undefeated on the year. Tigers coming in. The seven and one record loss in the championship to Blue Springs tournament to Staley, Missouri, 69-46. So, of course, when it comes to rivalry games, Derek, you can just throw the records out the window. Last time these two teams played on this floor, it was an overtime classic that Bentonville West won, getting their second win in program history in this building. And they're third in the series. The Wolverines breaking out the road grays for the first time. And this is, it's Hoopal South, it's Friday night, but this is a conference game. This is yes. the first 6A West game of the year for both these two teams, too. Yeah, so there's a, more than just bragging rights on the line. I like the gray unis, West. That's, that's a new look this year, right? It's a new look this year. Navy numbers, and easy to read from all points in yes, the gym. Yes, announcer-friendly uniforms Yes, indeed. Bentonville, numbers. Bentonville's in the home white with black numbers. Also easy to read at all points in the gym. The Tigers control the tap, and we're underway. Just in a little bit of a, a zone early on. Dearman tries an early three, and it doesn't go. And on the rebound, we're staying here. A foul on Dawson Price. That was quick. He wasn't thrilled, neither was Greg White. They've let him play for the most part today, so I mean, I was a little surprised we had a whistle there. 11 seconds in, our first foul. That has not been the trend in the first few games of this classic. Shot doesn't go for Lee, and it's rebounded by Price. Great job of getting to the basket, just didn't quite finish. Tigers in a man-to-man. -man. Here is Tucker Anderson who makes the Wolverines go offensively and he lost it off his hip there out of bounds. Well, actually a box and one, they're just gonna let Miller stay in the middle and kind of patrol the lane. Defense, defense, defense. So who can settle their nerves? Yeah. Defense, 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 defense. Work the perimeter, Deerman. Guarded by Krusenberry. Williams slips and a foul is called. Oh, that's a tough break. That's a tough break on James. Zaire James called for his first. So that's two early fouls and the people in Navy Blue are not happy with either of them. No, that one, you question that one. Like it was just a slip. A quick touch pass over to Deerman, and now back to Lee. A long three, and he missed it all. That's a little unusual. He's got that kind of range, but that missed everything, and the Wolverine student section letting him know about it. As you watch us at home or wherever, the Wolverine students and the Bentonville students are on the opposite sides. You'll get a good look at them throughout the game. <laughs> and hear them. And you will hear them indeed, yes. This is Cruisenberry. And that pass nice is stolen. Tip. Nice tip by Deerman. Now Deerman oh. and a rejection by Dawson Price. Whoa. Wow, did he get up. It is Bentonville ball on the baseline. 
Lee. Miller's Wh not touched it yet for Bentonville. There's a takeaway by the Wolverines. Bowman up the floor. Bowman tries a three. Off the back iron. Offensive board tracked down by Cruisenberry. A new shot clock for West. Open look in the corner. James misses from outside. Another chance for the Wolverines. A loose ball, and James lost it on the sideline. Tiger ball. Well, West is controlling the boards early on, especially on the offensive end. That's not good news for the Tigers. We've played nearly two minutes. Neither team has cracked the scoreboard yet. Here's Lee. See if they can get Miller a touch on this possession. He's calling for it. Lee from the corner, the three-pointer, good. So Jalen Lee hits the first bucket of the night, and it's a three ball. It's kind of the straw that stirs the drink for Bentonville. If he has a good game, the Tigers play well. Anderson, baseline jumper, no. And the rebound fought for. Miller went in there to get it, and then he got fouled. And that may be the second on Price. Yeah, that's that's going to be it big. Is. So two on Dawson Price. The Wolverines go to the bench and bring in Lane Jeffcoat to replace Price. Gives him a little more size. He's got great footwork, too, for a big man, 6'9". Just a junior, plays offensive line. Yep, he's, he's, the, he's a great athlete. He's the left tackle for the Wolverine football team. Nice pass inside. Miller with the dunk. Yeah, but kind of forgot about Miller, and he... Slams it home. First five of the game to the Tigers. Anderson. Defended by Waller. Good defense. And Waller is all over him. Yeah, some grabbing. They're letting him play now. Ten on the shot clock for Bowman. James, a corner three. Won't go. Miller had the rebound. It now lands in Anderson's arms. A lot of contact there, no whistle. Chance to regroup here for the Wolverines, trying to get their first basket of the game. Well, they've had a couple of really good looks for James working the perimeter. Through the hands of Anderson, he tries to keep it in play, but it goes right to Waller. Here's Williams, nice Euro step for two. A 7-0 start for Bentonville. Yeah, most coaches would take a timeout here, but Greg White's content to let his team play through it. He's got faith in him. Bowman and a small change foul there on Jalen Lee. Yeah. Wasn't much there. No, it's kind of hard to get a feel for how they're going to call it. I mean, they're, they're letting them bang around, and then the little touch stuff on the perimeter they're calling. So it's frustrating as a player and a coach. Jackson Bruss just checked in for the Wolverines, replacing Zaire James. Here's Anderson. He drives. Foul line jumper doesn't go. Miller out leaps them all for the rebound. Good job. Jeffcoat had pretty good position on him. Lee on the baseline. Waller. Oh, he found an opening. There were a lot of folks in the lane. Greg White calls a timeout. The Wolverines are down 9 nothing, with 3.51 to go here in the first quarter. And it has been the, the, if you're the home team, it's the start that you exactly drew up. Yes, you've got to like the start, but you've got to keep going because you know West is going to score at some point, and they're going to make a run of their own. So you can't get content by any stretch. We've seen that too often in this series. And the way West can shoot threes, I mean, they can get back in this ball game lickety split. So it'll be West basketball here. And it's not like West hasn't had good looks. They've no. had some good looks. The shots just haven't gone down. Those will go down eventually. I mean, they're too good a shooting team for that ball to stay out of the cylinder. So it's Jeff Coat getting it to Bowman. He'll operate the point here for... The West High Wolverines. 
And give Waller credit. He's done a nice job on Anderson yes, so far. He has indeed. <laughs> Still a lot of basketball left. Yeah. It's a big ass. That is a, that is an all night job. Yes. Tucker Anderson committed to play college ball at the D1 level at UCA. Bowman down the baseline. Drops it off. Cruisenberry's back in. Jeffcoat reverses it. Brust will try a three. It's off the back of the iron. Offensive board bounces to Bowman. Bowman will take it in. Pretty reversal. Doesn't get the shot to fall. Out of bounds to the Tigers. Yeah, Miller authored that shot just by going up and did a nice job of staying vertical. In the past, he would try to swipe at it and pick up a cheap foul. Xander Collins has checked in for Bentonville. Javen Williams is out. Collins has tended to gave him last year at least, gave him a spark coming off the bench to see if he can do it again. Three minutes to go, opening quarter. Jalen Lee. Waller, jump stop underneath. Miller fouled by Jeff Cook. Jeff Coat with his first. His first take on the line shoot two. Good Man. job of getting the ball to Miller, letting him attack the, the rim. It's Caden Miller at the foul line for the Tigers. Mm. First one off the rim. Free throw shooting, one of the things he needs to work on, and he knows that. He's And the second attempt is good, one out of two. So he's got three in the ball game, and it's 10-0, Bentonville. Wow. Did not see this come. No. Bowman lost mm. it, got it back. Brust from the corner, a three-pointer, got it. Well, that breaks the seal for the Wolverines, a three-pointer for Brust. See if that gets them going now. Miller finds Waller. Yeah, so concerned double teaming on Miller. And Waller gets in there and gets free. We have a foul. Yep. Oh. It's an and one. Tucker Anderson got the foul. Mm. That is his first. Excuse me, it's on Cruisenberry. I thought he signaled 33, but he's 35. So it's Cruisenberry, not Anderson with the foul. And it's an and one opportunity for Aiden Waller. One of those things like in soccer on the substitution. <laughs> we can clearly see the number who it's being called on. That'd be helpful. Free throw doesn't go. Jeff Coat, an uncontested rebound. Here's James. Cruisenberry. And it's nearly taken away. Yeah. The ball is loose. Waller's on the deck after it. Collins fighting for it. Collins has it, two on one. Collins, blocking yep. foul, count it. Yep. It's a tough spot to be in as a defender. Thought he had the angle, thought yep. Collins was gonna have to pass, but he decided to go up with it. Well, that's the second quick one on Cruisenberry, and now Collins looking for the three-point play. And yeah, he got it. 15-3, just did not see this. 150 to go here in the first. And it's taken away, Lee. Yeah. A weird hush falls over the gym yes. for a moment. Collins into the lane. Ping-ponging around. Yeah. Now we've got a scrum. And the arrow will give it to West. Anderson's had, what, one shot so far? A little surprised by that. Yeah, no points. No. Had that little, yeah, had the uh, jumper at the free throw line that just bounced off the back of the rim. So substitution here for, Benton, for Bentonville West. And Ved Heckey's in the game. Wilhelm at 44 is checked in for the Tigers as they give Miller a rest. 
And that's a travel. Mm. Yeah, if you're West, this might be the opportunity to try to attack the paint with Miller out. Attack the sophomore and Wilhelm. Here's Collins. And that's swatted away by Anderson. Oh, they're going to they call, call a foul. foul. Boy, that is a <laughs> late whistle. Greg White is yeah, upset. He, he's about to get a tee. Yeah, he's a little under eight. And I, yeah. If it was immediate, it pr probably wouldn't have been as bad, but it was a little delayed. Or is it oh. just that loud we didn't hear it? Wilhelm at the line for two. Well, they let Coach White say his piece and didn't mm -hmm. give him the T as Wilhelm hits the free throw. And that's good officiating. I mean, you got to understand, coaches are going to vent. you got to let them. It was the first foul on Anderson. Okay. Now Wilhelm misses the second. Yeah. Turned out not to be too bad a foul, even though it did look a little clean on the block. See if they can get Anderson going on the offensive end. Russ to Anderson. Cut off again defensively by Waller. Here's the three for James that doesn't drop. A break for the Tigers. And a quick closeout knocks the ball away. A great hustle there by yes. Van Hecke to knock it out of bounds off of the Tiger. Really nice pass by Lee, but Van Hecke with a great job to deflect it off the Tiger out of bounds. A Jackson Bruss three-pointer is all the Wolverines have got so far in this first quarter. James. Here's Anderson. Ten to go in the quarter. Anderson, no. Rebound, Wilhelm. Ben Waller with some good defense on him. Collins. Mm. And he traveled. Yep. Tried to do too much. Got a little out of control. So West has 1.2 to try and do something here from three-quarter court. Yeah. James, he'll heave it, and that's it for the first quarter. All Bentonville, 16-3 to Tigers. After one, you're watching Hoop Hall South presented by Walmart's. Turn here for the start of the second quarter. Bentonville 16, West 3. I mean, you could not have written a better script if you're a Bentonville Tiger, and I don't know that you could have envisioned a worse scenario if you're West. But there's still a lot about There's still three quarters to go. So have the Wolverines survived the onslaught, or is there more coming? That's yeah. what we're about to find out here over the next few minutes. Here's Lee on the baseline, and he lost the handle. Wow. Just, just lost it. Yeah. It wasn't poked away or anything. See, that's the that's the kind of, I mean, not to say he lost focus, but that's the danger for now for the Tigers. You're up 13 in rivalry game. You don't want to take your foot off the gas because it's hard to recapture that momentum. Here's Zaire James in the front court. That ball was kicked by Lee out of bounds, so West will keep it, 25 to shoot.
Jeff Coat in the corner. Anderson. Boy, Waller just not giving him any open space no. to operate in. He's been all over him. Picked up by Bruss. Not on the shot clock. Anderson. A straight on three. There it is. So Anderson's first bucket of the night. And it's a 10-point game. And he can heat up very quickly. Pretty big possession for the Tigers. You don't want to give West a chance to get any momentum. Deep three. Jalen Lee off the iron. Miller fighting for the rebound with wow. Jeff Coat. He finds Lee for the deuce. Lee saw what was happening and ran to the basket and was able to put it up and in. So it's Bentonville by 12. Minute and a half gone in the second. Anderson draws a double. Back to Brust. And Brust is fouled. Fouls on the Tigers. That was on uh, Williams. Williams yeah. Gavin Williams with his first. Got him on the reach. Baseline out of bounds. Yeah, Bentonville's already in the bonus, Derek. Just the second foul on the Tigers. Ooh, that was that's, mighty close. That's not backcourt because no. he didn't have both feet in the ball in front court first. Yep. Everybody forgets they've changed that rule. Anderson misses, rebounded by Miller. Had a good look. Nice drive. Mm -hmm. A little out of control. And Numbers. James on the break, and James lays it in. Mm, Lee's lucky he didn't make Had to back off the last minute or get a foul. Back to a 10-point game. Waller attacks. Yep. Offensive foul on Waller. Price did a great job of getting set. So many guys in the lane, you come through and you may not see the defenders right there waiting on you. Not an easy game to officiate. And they're this big and athletic. Jeff Coat on the perimeter. Anderson. He'll take the three and make it. Yep. He's heating up. That's not good news for Bentonville. 8 2 run by the Wolverines to cut it to seven. Williams drops it off. Waller swatted wow. by Anderson. He got it back, though. And now the ball out of bounds. Knocked out by the Wolverines. The price might have knocked it off Waller. Price is in there with two fouls as well, Blair. That's yeah. a big gamble here by Greg White, but it's paying yeah. off right now. Yep. Uh, he's going to come out now. I mean, yeah, he, he's only got one gear, so you got to yeah. get him out. You got to be judicious about how you, you use him here in the second quarter. Lee. A little confusion on what the Tigers want to do here, it seems like. They got six on the shot clock to figure it out. Yeah. Now three, now two. Do they know it? No. They don't. They force one up, and that's a shot clock violation. Yeah. Yeah. Just they weren't aware of the situation there, it didn't look like. Yeah. Got to be aware. And now Price comes back in. Mm. It's a little offense for defense there, and Van Hecke sits down. And now Coach Rip is going to take a timeout. He's going to take a 30. So 4.41 to go as we take a breath here, and we have a seven-point game. The Tigers led by as many as 13. And the Wolverines are in the middle of an 8-2 run to climb back in this thing, and we knew it wouldn't be a runaway. We oh, knew no. there'd, be a, there'd be a comeback here. Oh, yeah. You knew at some point those shots were going to fall, and Anderson would start hitting a few, and he has. And we've seen what a difference that makes. And now Benville's kind of the one struggling on the offensive end. As West has gotten the momentum, and now that's carried over into their defense. So the Tigers have got to find a way to get the ball in the basket again. 
which they had such kind of an easy time doing in the first quarter not so much here in the second. It's a kind of unusual thing to have a league game in December but not only is this a league game there's scheduled to be two more next week now there's yes. bad weather in the forecast so who knows yeah. if those games will be impacted or not but both teams will be in action next Tuesday and next Friday night. That ball is batted up in the air. Pulled down by Anderson, and Anderson scores. Anderson is on fire, eight of the 13. And as he's gotten going, this lead has shrunk. Oh, oh what a lob! Wow. And Waller throws it down. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. James to the basket. Miller got a piece. Lee reverses. Mm -hmm. Nope. Here's Anderson the other way. They've got numbers, maybe. Anderson all the way to the cup. It counts. And the foul. You cannot give him a path to the basket. He is... Hard to stop. No, it's in Miller's first. Three-point play opportunity for Tucker Anderson. This he's already the first of the game to double figures with ten. Now eleven. And it's a four-point game, Derek. Wow. Ten two run by West. Deerman from the corner. In and out with a three. Oh, Anderson took a shot to the face. Yeah. The ball goes out of bounds. No foul call. And we'll see if Anderson's bleeding or not. Yeah. If he is, he'll have to check out. Well, that's a tough one to know who that one came off of. But the official's right there in the baseline. Had a good look at it. it looks like he's staying in there. Yeah. Another corner triple opportunity, Ooh. and Dearman missed it all. Jeff Coat with the board, and all of a sudden, West can cut it to one. Brust a triple, and he misses everything. Jeff Coat with the rebound, blocked on the putback by Miller. Bodies everywhere. There's Bentonville out of the fray with it. Lee. Lee, through traffic, reverses, left it short. Out of bounds, yeah. staying on this end. Yeah, it was off Anderson, but man, Lee trying to do a little too much there. A little one on three. Here's Lee again. Collins goes in with the trees. Knocked away by Fox. Good block. Good job by Fox. Thought he got some body there, but no whistle. Yeah. 25 on the timer here for Bentonville. Deerman for three. He'll try it again from that spot. He missed wow. again. Battle for the ball wow. board, and it rolls out of bounds, and it'll be Wolverine ball. Dearman does not miss many open threes, and that's three straight he's missed. A little surprised by that. But it is a rivalry game. You tend to get a little more amped up like with Anderson. He's not coming out of this thing. I mean, they're going to yep. have to drag him that's out. That's right. He'll be in for the whole 32 and then some if <laughs> need be. So West with the ball down by four. Jeff Coat out high. Price, cut off at the foul line, back to Anderson. Approaching two minutes to go here in the first half. Jeff Coton Miller battling pretty good in the paint. To the corner, it's Brust for three, no good. Rebounded by Miller. James had pretty good position, but Miller appeared out of nowhere and got that rebound. 
Collins left alone. And his three is good. So Collins makes it a seven point game. 95 seconds to go until halftime. And James nearly mm. lost it. Back out Anderson from way out there. Ooh. In and out. Miller mm. on the rebound and he got fouled. The two on Jeff Coat. And a one and one at the other end here for Bentonville. Caden Miller to shoot the one and one. Off the front of the iron, and Anderson gets the board. Seven point game. And Price will take it from out there and make wow. it for three. 4 point game. Price's first bucket of the night. And he's playing with two fouls. <laughs> That's what I love about West. I mean, they are not afraid to shoot. For Bentonville, you really need a bucket here. You don't want West to get another opportunity to extend a run here right before halftime. Right underneath. Oh, what, a, what block. a block by Anderson. Wow. That was he big time. Pinned it on the glass. Russ from the corner for three, an air ball. Mm. It's Edelizimo who got that rebound there for Bentonville. Shot clock is off. It's a four point margin here as we tick down before the half. We're gonna hold it for one. Not a bad idea, you don't want West to get a crack at it either. Collins with six to shoot. Lee, two, one from straight on. Shot doesn't go. The put back at the buzzer, no good. And we've hit halftime. Well, Bentonville was up 13. And the Wolverines have trimmed it to four here at halftime. 23 to 19, our score at the break. What a first <laughs> wow. half. Incredible. What? Swings both ways. Bentonville up by 13 at one point. West just down four. I mean, you've got to love the way they battle back in that second quarter. If you're Bentonville, you got to be a little concerned about that, too. I took her Anderson heated up in a big way. He's got 11. Man, the second half's going to be unbelievable, Derek. Waller and Collins lead the way for Bentonville. They had six apiece. And at halftime, it's 23 to 19. Bentonville in front here. You're watching Hoop Hall South presented by Walmart. Welcome to the 2022 Hoop Hall South team announcement special presented by Walmart. Let's get right to it and meet the teams that will be showcasing their talents from December 15th through the 17th in Bentonville, Arkansas. The team probably everyone's excited about, Arizona Compass Prep is absolutely stacked with talent. They feature five ESPN 100 players, including senior Mookie Cook, who is headed to Oregon next year, Rayvon Griffith, who is committed to Cincinnati, and Trent Pierce, who will head to Missouri next season. Nearly the entire roster is D1 caliber players, and you won't want to miss the intense, high-flying style that the Dragons play. The hometown Bentonville Tigers will look to defend their home court. Six foot eight inch junior Caden Miller is one of the in-state studs that will be on display. Miller is ESPN's 39th best player in the Southeast region and has drawn a lot of mid-major and power five interest. No one could have or would have predicted Bentonville West High School becoming a nationally respected program after opening in just 2016. Coach Greg White credits a dirt road tough mentality and players who rise to every challenge placed on their schedule. Last season, West High went toe to toe with nationally respected Coronado, who's also in the field here, despite not even having a single D1 player on their roster. Two teams from out west will head to Bentonville for Hoop Hall South. Coronado from Henderson, Nevada brings the state's fourth best player in junior guard Josiah Cunningham. ESPN has Cunningham as the 46th best player in the West region, and his recruiting process just getting started after a great summer. Will Hoop Hall South 
be a coming out party for Josiah. The Bulldogs of Fayetteville High School head to Bentonville with hopes of representing the natural state when they take on Whitney Young from Chicago in their lone game at the end of the first night of action. After going 20-7, and seven, the Bulldogs' season ended when fellow Hoopal South team and host Bentonville knocked them off in the Arkansas 6A semifinals. The other West Coast team in Bentonville is Harvard Westlake from Los Angeles. The Wolverines are known for producing next-level athletes such as Major League Baseball pitchers Jack Flaherty, Max Fried, and Lucas Giolito, and NBA rookie Johnny Jazang. This year, senior Brady Dunlap is in the spotlight before he heads to play in South Bend for Mike Bray in Notre Dame next season. The number one ranked player in the West joins juniors Robert Hinton and Trent Perry to make Harvard Westlake a must-see team at Hoopal South this year. Five-star junior guard Honor Boateng and the Tigers of Little Rock Central take the short in-state trip to Bentonville. ESPN's 44th ranked junior has rising interest from many SEC schools and recently rose 41 spots to number 13 nationally in the rivals class of 2024 rankings. Honor's big year continued when he attended the USA Basketball Men's Junior National Team minicamp in October. Little Rock Christian Academy heads up the mountain to Bentonville to compete against Whitney Young High School out of Chicago. The Warriors are led by junior Landon Blocker and freshman JJ Andrews, two 6'5 guards who have multiple SEC offers. Moravian Prep heads over from North Carolina and brings four-star forward Mayar Wool to Hoop Hall South. The South Sudanese senior stud committed to the College of Charleston this past year after being ranked 54th in the Southeast region by ESPN. Joining Wool is sophomore guard Eli Ellis, rivals 35th best player in the class of 2025. Ellis has eight college offers, including West Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Ole Miss. Simeon Career Academy out of Chicago heads down south for Hoopal. Senior forward and Loyola Chicago commit Miles Rubin and his brother and frontcourt running mate Wesley will give the Wolverines a post presence. Simeon Academy has been a professional basketball breeding ground as Derek Rose, Nick Anderson, Taylon Horton Tucker, Zach Norvell Jr., Jabari Parker, and Kendrick Nunn all help make Simeon a powerhouse. The Windy City will actually send two teams south as the Whitney Young Dolphins head to Bentonville. Princeton commit point guard Dalen Davis and senior shooting guard Daniel Johnson are standouts for Michelle Obama's alma mater. This year will also feature three girls teams as Perry High School from Arizona and hometown squads Bentonville High and Bentonville West will lace them up. Bentonville High features guard Ella Campbell who is ranked 27th in the senior class on prep girls hoops and guard Abby Kate Sanders who's ranked 59th. Bentonville West seniors New Johnson will be another player to watch as will Perry's forward Camille Pierre who is ESPN's 87th best player in the 2023 class and she has committed to Vanderbilt. And finally here's a look at the full schedule for Thursday through Saturday. And a quick recap of the top players to watch December 15th through the 17th in Bentonville, Arkansas. Three days, 14 teams, 12 games, expect a whole lot of action at Bentonville High School in mid-December. Tickets are on sale now for each day, so make sure you grab your seats to see some of basketball's future stars. Thanks for watching and see you in Arkansas.
We're back here at Hoop Hall South, presented by Walmart. Our second half about to get underway. Bentonville 23, Bentonville West 19 in the final game of the night. Derek Ruskin here with Blair Cartwright. Who knows, we might be tied if it wasn't for a first quarter where everything went right for Bentonville and nothing could go in for West. Yeah, and then it reversed course. Yeah. West started making shots, and Bentonville struggled to make them, and Tucker Anderson heated up 11 points in the first half. Somehow Bentonville's got to either figure out a way to contain him or make him be a one-man wrecking crew and hold everybody else down. It is a 13-5 run to end that half by the Wolverines to narrow this gap to four as we get ready for the third quarter. It's going to be West Ball to start the quarter. And it's going to get loud the second half. The student sections behind the respective benches will get into it. It's everything you expect in a rivalry game. Here is Bowman. Now it's Brust who gets the second oh. half start. Anderson puts the moves on, left the jumper short. Yeah, tough shot, but a great move to get open. Williams to the other end for Bentonville. Deerman, the floater, short. And the rebound. Well, Bowman had it for a or Price had it for a second, yeah, then lost it. Couldn't corral it, had great position too. Williams over to Jalen Lee. Now he hoists from outside. No good. Rebounded by James. Oh, no, they're going to wait. And James, mm. a little hesitation dribble, and he draws some contact. Williams second, yeah. Price and Burst got, got delayed, or Tucker Anderson got delayed. He got knocked down, so it was a three on five, and I don't think the Wolverines were aware they were a serious disadvantage off the inbound Anderson for three no good and the rebound is secured by Miller it is still a four-point game Miller back out Lee will try it again not that time James the board numbers James to the corner Brust will fire a three and hit the top of the glass Bounces around, James comes down with it, too far under the goal, now he pulls it back out. Price goes to work, and he's fouled by Miller. Took it right at the big man, good move. Dawson Price to the free throw line. The Wolverines have attempted one free throw in the first half, so. And Price playing with two fouls, you think he might not be aggressive, but that's that's his style. He missed the free throw. Mm -hmm. Got a little uh, mullet action going down yeah. there for uh, Dawson Price yes, this year. He does. I like it. One out of two for Price. Oh, you young ones. <laughs> it's right. 23 to 20. Lee. Lobbing it, oh. and Waller can't finish it. James comes out of there with it. He's shorthanded, and it. he nearly and he did have it poked away by yep. Deerman. Good recovery by Deerman. Probably would have been better suited to back it out, wait for some help. Here's Waller again. Yes. Good job to get the defender in the air. So eight for Waller, and a five-point Tiger lead. James, back to Anderson. Nowhere to go. Russ drives the floater mm. off the front of the iron. And it's rebounded by Deerman. Then he had oh. it knocked out of bounds, and Deerman touched it last. Yep. Wow. So right back on offense, the Wolverines have a baseline out of bounds. They're starting to get to the basket. They just haven't quite been able to finish. 
James will trigger it in play. And a collision there, and Price is hit. And are they going to get Miller? They do. It's yeah. his third. That's his third. Well, it was going to be somebody's third either way, and that yep. time it's on Miller. And I think the Bentonville crowd just became aware of that. Yep. And Not happy. start to hear the groans. Yep. So Wilhelm will come in off the bench. Miller also took a shot. He's checking his yeah. lip or nose. Expect nothing less in the battle down 102 game. Oh, yeah. It's going to be physical. Pack a lunch <laughs> or dinner, I guess, in this case. A late night snack. Yes. What a move by Anderson oh. to the basket. That was beautiful. Tucker Anderson has 13, and we've got a three point game. Closest they've been since it was 3 0. Deerman. Too high off the glass. Just cannot find the range tonight. He's 0 for 5 from the floor. This is Cruisenberry backing it out. It's James to tie it in and out. Rebounded by Wilhelm. Five to go here in the third. Tigers need to get something going, get their students back in this. Lee misses from point blank. Cruisenberry wow. gets the board. That's partially to the defense, too. They've been swatting them away. Price. James. Finds the cutter. Price. Wow. No. A lot of contact. They let him play. Cruisenberry comes up with it. He's swatted by Wilhelm, and a foul is called. <laughs> Wilhelm with his first. And it puts Caleb Cruisenberry at the free throw line for West. And he got the first one. So it's a two-point contest. And one more here for Caleb Cruisenberry. One out of two. Free throw shooting's not been real good for either team. That well, could be a factor down the stretch. Wilhelm on the perimeter. Lee guarded by Anderson. Wilhelm guarded by Price. Wilhelm and great defense and the ball goes out of bounds. How about the defense by Price? He forced the shot to go on the back side of the, yep. ba of the basket there. Great positioning, yeah, forced him to the baseline, and Wilhelm wasn't quite sure where he was. And he did it without committing that third foul. Yep. Two-point game, West could tie or take the lead with a three here. Halfway through the third. Price at the elbow, looking. Driving, Price, no. Hits the deck, no call, rebounded by Wilhelm. Yeah, We're going to need a lot more contact than that to get a whistle. Yes. Lee all the way. And Anderson oh, okay. is called for the. F now they're going to get Cruisenberry, and okay. that's his third. Well, Anderson had the clean block uh, up yes. top. And Cruisenberry got him, and that's his third. Yeah, on the way in. Yeah, that was definitely a clean block. So Jalen Lee at the free throw line. He has not scored yet in the third quarter for Bentonville. Bentonville's only scored two points in the quarter. And that's short. Jeff Coat back in for West. Cruisenberry will sit with three fouls. And Jeff Coat comes in, he has two. So mm -hmm. foul trouble, a little bit of an issue right now for the Wolverines. Lee missed them wow. both. An empty trip for the Tigers. It's still a two point game. They have not done themselves any favors at the free throw line. James guarded by Lee. Jeff Coat. It's a three-pointer for Price. Front iron. Rebounded by Lee. Excuse me, that's Collins. Collins with the ball. Collins probes. Waller back out, open look, three-pointer way off. That was Dowda missing. Oh, and he let Anderson go right by him. 
And Anderson draws a foul. He's got two free throws that could tie the game. Yep. Good job by Anderson to recognize the defender wasn't paying attention, so he goes in. Second foul on Waller. Oh, they gave it to Waller. Wow, I yep. thought they might have given it to Collins. but Well, they, well that's big because Waller's been the one guarding Anderson, so. Tucker Anderson, perfect with the first free throw. So this one would tie it. And West has come from 13 down to tie this game up with 2.56 to go in quarter number three. Collins to the cup. No. Rebounded by Price. Brust drives in. Rejected by Lee. Out of bounds. See if Anderson maybe tries to take it at Waller to pick up that third foul. And Heckey in the game. He's going to Throw it in here from the baseline. And Jeffcoat tried to use the height to get that one. Now Wilhelm nearly tied up with Anderson. The Tigers come away with it with Waller. Waller nearly traveled with it. Yep. Waller to the baseline. Nice recovery on right. defense there. Jalen Lee trying to settle things down. Collins from outside. No. Mm -hmm. Offensive board to Dearman. Lee will fire. No. Yeah. And on the rebound, Wilhelm with the foul. Yeah. Over the back. Well, suddenly nobody can buy a basket. Well, we have each, each team has one field goal so far in this third quarter. And that favors Bentonville West. Greg White does not mind one of these grinded out no. kind of defensive games. Rust guarded by Lee. And the entry pass is stolen by Collins. On the break, Lee rejected wow. by Price. Anderson with a two-on-one the other way. James lays it in. Wow, what a phenomenal comeback by West. They're How about the sequence? Run. Yeah. The rejection and then the basket at the other end, and we've got a timeout taken by Bentonville. Yeah. Timeout Tigers with 1.30 to go here in the third, and Bentonville West leads it 27 to 25. We'll hold it here. It's a quick timeout called by Coach Rippey on the Bentonville sideline. He is not happy with no. that last play. He thought there was a foul on that block. That or was he arguing maybe goaltending? I, I'm not sure. Could be, I, yeah. I mean, it looked to me like he got it before it hit the glass. Well, what a 180 this game wow. has turned into with all the momentum now with the team in Navy and in spite of that if you're Bentonville you're only down two yeah I mean it feels like just a wave of emotion but on the scoreboard you're only down two points right now yeah but the tide is turning yeah. you got to find a way to stem it you got to find a way to get the ball in the basket I mean they have really struggled since Almost the start of the second quarter, getting the ball in the basket. In the quarter, the scoring is 8-2 West. It's Tiger ball. 126 to go in the third. Collins off the dribble. Dearman will try it again. In and out. Rebound to Anderson. Wow. Yep. And they've had good looks, but they're just not going in. Anderson working on Lee. Price down the baseline. Mm, Not might there. Have, might have gotten tipped. The Wolverine bench got up like they thought he was going to dunk it. Yep. Collins got in there enough just to. Oh, and a travel by Waller. Oh, he was trying to throw something down. Well, it's. Both teams playing a little tight since. 
We tied up and now we've got Waller on the floor. It looks like he's cramping up. Yep. Waller, as they look at the left calf area. Smart job by Greg White. He pulls his team over. I mean, he's going to use this like a timeout. It's out. a free timeout. That's exactly yeah. right. Saw that in one of the earlier games when we had that discrepancy on the block charge. They mm -hmm. went over the table, and both teams kind of went over and yeah. got a free timeout there to talk strategy. Not a bad idea. Now the Tigers finally start to head over to their bench. Their coaches want to talk to them. Well, they've got Waller up. And hopefully it's just a cramp yeah. and he'll be back out there soon. Drink plenty of water. They're trying to stretch it out, but that's big because he's been the one that's guarding Anderson. Now, Anderson's got 15, but he could have a lot more of the if Waller wasn't defending him like he has been. That's a great point. So here is James. Now Jeffcoat at the top of the key. Oh, and Lee's the one guarding Anderson. Interesting. Giving up some size. Inside. Price couldn't get it to drop. Good defense there by Caden Miller. Yeah, I might have tried to force that just a little bit. About a four-second difference shot and game clock here. Jalen Lee content to let it tick down. Calling for somebody comes send a screen. Nobody's coming. There's 10 on the shot clock for Lee. Five on the shot clock. Deerman with two, with one. He'll try from the corner. Nope. No good. He got his own miss. Lee goes in, mm. and he got fouled. Jeff Coat got him. That's his third. Mm, that's a tough one. Jeff Coat had stayed pretty vertical. Fouls on Lane Jeff Coat. Just the second team foul of the half against Owen West. And Owen Deerman will shoot two here for Bentonville to try and tie this game. He's got the first. So maybe that'll get him going, seeing the ball go in the basket on the free throw. because. He has struggled from the floor. Rippy gets Lee and Miller out real quick so they can get a little extra blow. Well, we're tied at 27. And that's it. End of three. Nothing decided. 27 apiece. We'll go to the fourth quarter. The battle down 102 between Bentonville and Bentonville West. You're watching Hoop Hall South, presented by Walmarts. Here we go for the fourth quarter. Who Paul South presented by Walmart. The feature game of the night, and it's the best game of the night. 27 all as we get ready for the fourth. Derek Ruskin here along with Blair Cartwright in Bentonville at Tiger Arena. Who's going to be the man to step up for both teams? Tucker Anderson's done it so far for West, 15 points. Let's see, Waller's still on the bench, so we'll see if Lee can get going for Bentonville. Williams, they back it out. Collins looks inside. Miller had to take it away. Anderson creates the turnover. 
Now Anderson on the break, drives in, going for the dunk, missed it. Oh, James' what a follow was rejected by Lee. West got it back with Brust over to James at the corner. Might have been better served just to lay that one in instead of trying to go for a dunk. Back out Bruss, three-pointer front iron, rebound Miller. Yeah, Waller on the bench, not only has he been their best defender, he's been their leading scorer tonight too. Lee on the baseline. Lee in the paints. Dearman, who has struggled tonight, just two points, both at the free throw line. For Owen Dearman, seven on the shot clock. Miller, tough catch, drive, mm. miss from point blank again. Never really had it cleanly, though. As he drove to the basket, he was still kind of fumbling it. Might have rushed it just a little bit. Bentonville still has one field goal in the second half. And we're tied at 27. Bruss drives in, off glass for two. And the Wolverines lead it by two. Tigers really need a basket. Lee reverses, nice move by Jalen Lee. Price for the triple, got it! So we were tied at 29, and then West takes the lead again, 32 to 29. Here in the early stages of the fourth quarter, battle down 102, Ooh. delivering once again. To Blair Cartwright. Yes, it is. Boy, I, West is starting to. I mean, they're getting more and more confident. Shots are falling. Bentonville's kind of struggling a little bit, Derek. I mean, Waller's on the bench. He's your best defender. Your leading scorer, Lee finally, if they can get Lee on track. But oh, the offense has really struggled tonight for Bentonville. The Wolverine defense has done their part to contribute yep. to those struggles. And the times when Bentonville's gotten a good look, they have not been able to capitalize. Yep. The longer this goes, I think the momentum favors the Wolverines. Well, here come the Tigers, down by three. Largest lead of the night for West is three. They force out Williams. Collins gets it right back to Williams. Down the lane, swatted out of there by Price. Back to Collins it goes. A little out of control on the drive. Dearman. Collins spins, kicks. Dearman, a triple. Not there. Out of bounds and a Ooh. foul. Before the ball went out, we got a foul. Did you get Anderson? Who to get it on? Uh, let's see. It's either Burst, Bruce. It's Brust. Brust, Brust. yeah. Okay. Got the, his first. That's only the third team foul on West, so it's a baseline out of bounds. Bentonville does get the new shot clock here. Dearman again, and he got it. Well, does that get him going? for the stretch run here, Blair. That's where those free throws were huge that he knocked down earlier. Finally saw the ball go in the basket. We're tied for the fourth time. Anderson on the baseline. Well, Waller's back in there now. Price to the cup. Oh, nice Count move. Count it. And one. Nice move. Going strong and did a great job of protecting the ball. Holding it back. No one contact was coming. Javen Williams just got his third foul for Bentonville. Price looking for the three-point play. And he got it. He's got ten now on the night. And it's a three-point lead again for the Wolverines. Inside, and Waller's fouled. Nice feed from Collins. Good footwork, too, by Waller to get loose for the shot. Fouls on West. Caleb Prusenberry. Prusenberry just picked up his fourth for West. Meanwhile, Waller 
at the line, and these have some pressure on him with the way Bentonville has struggled shooting the basketball. There's the first one. So Waller's up to nine on the night. It's a one point game. Waller to double figures. First Tiger to do that in this contest. Anderson drives in and he got fouled. Yep. We'll reach in. Yep. On Waller, that'll be number three. This third for the Tigers. So here is Anderson at the free throw line now for Bentonville West. He's got 15 tonight to lead all scorers. It's a one and one, and he got the first one, so he'll get the bonus. And he hits both of them. 17 for Anderson. Three-point Lee. Lee is fouled on the way in, and Anderson. Who is it on, though? It looked like it was him. Nope. They give it to James. It's probably not a bad thing for West. And Lee will shoot two. You know, it's interesting, looking through some of the Literature, you don't see Tucker Anderson with all those other names at Hoop Hall South. I wonder if that was pointed out to him coming into oh, this. Yeah. That, hey, it's very all these, possible. All these big, big name guys, and they didn't put you in there. That would have been a very smart motivational ploy by Greg White if he did that. Well, Lee hit both those free throws, and we got a one point game again. We've been tied four times. We've had one lead change. Price. And Dearman may have got a piece of that. And now a foul. Ooh. And that one will be on Anderson. Yeah, maybe. Just a second, though, right? And that is the sixth team foul. So the next one will be the one and one. Okay. Which, the way Bentonville shot free throws, may not be a bad thing for West. Bentonville can retake the lead right here. Lee tried to get it over the reach of Anderson. The follow doesn't go. Waller, another chance, and Anderson comes out of there with it to James. Owen no, Waller's hobbled. It's four on five. They've got numbers. Russ from the corner for three. No good. Anderson gets the offensive board. Going for the wow. stick back. It's a Blocked. foul. Blocked in a foul, and the Tiger fan's not happy. Waller's going to have to come out. Derek, he can barely walk. During all that, the foul is on Miller, and that's his fourth. Yeah, that's big. And so Tucker Anderson to the free throw line for West to try and make it a three-point game again. This has been an odd flow. Every time we've had three ties, West has answered to keep the lead. And every time Bentonville's got it to one, so far the Wolverines have not given any ground there either. Yep, they've kept them at bay. Once they took the lead, they have maintained it. Three throws for Anderson. Dearman from outside. That would have tied it. And a loose ball. Price on the deck after it. And let's see. What is the call? Looks like the Wolverine fans are happy. I think it's just out of bounds to West. Okay. There was no signal. Wasn't sure if it was well, they'll a get travel some. or what. Now they're mopping up some perspiration off the floor over there. With all those bodies. We've got 333 remaining in a three-point game. Donated, so the winner gets $150.
Cruzenberry's back in for West with four fouls. Okay. And, and now, we'll now a timeout. Yep, a full timeout is taken. So we will take one as well for the stretch run here. You're watching Who Ball South presented by Walmart. Thirty-three to go. Benville West by three. Here at Hoopal South, presented by Walmart. This is also a 6A West League game, so someone's going to be one and zero when this one's over. Oh, this has been a lot of fun, had it? There's a steal by Collins. Oh, he couldn't control it and lost it. Brust got it back for the Wolverines. Anderson poked it to Brust. And now another chance. Oh. Price lost the handle. Wow. That's just the ball hot is bouncing everywhere. That's got to be a jump ball, right? Or a timeout. Oh, wow. I think they gave him a timeout. So hmm. we were just talking about uh, during that last break how um, this game has been entertaining despite low scoring. It's been yes. pretty well played. And then we had our sloppiest yeah, sequence of the nuts. night right there. <laughs> It was just like a greased pig running loose, you know? <laughs> Nobody could corral the basketball. Well, that was, I believe, a Bentonville timeout. Yeah, they have so one left. One. They have one left for the final 303. The Wolverines yeah. have three. That is. And Wolverines also have the arrow. Yeah, so it's, and they're in the double bonus as yep. well, whereas Bentonville's just in the bonus. So, yeah, this is. Definitely a it's back against the wall time for the Tigers here in their home gym. It is tightening up. This is what makes high school basketball so great. The rivalry, just the bragging rights and everything. This is just this is just a lot of fun. What a way to cap off what's been a great day here at Hoop Hall South, presented by Walmart. Six games tomorrow. Both these teams will be in action again. Yeah, somehow got to put this <laughs> behind them and, right. and play tomorrow. But, hey, first things first, take care of this one. Collins drops it down. Miller back out. Dearman for the tie. No. Price gets the rebound. Kind of had double clutch before he went up. I don't know if that affected it or not. Here's James. Now Anderson. With Lee on him this time, with Waller out, and yep. that's going to be a reach. It's on Lee. That's only a second. And it's two shots. He's giving up six inches to Anderson. Well, Tucker Anderson, who may have been somewhat overlooked in the buildup to this event. Just scored his 20th point of the game. Yeah. And a lot of it, most of it in the second half, Derek's been from the it's, line. And at the line, yeah, that's exactly right. Got them both again. But hey, it doesn't matter where you get them from, but the ones at the line, very important. Well, now it's a two-possession game. Yeah. West that's by five. Necessarily need a three. Collins with an air ball, the reversal by Miller draws a foul. Ooh, that's four on Jeffco. But the Tigers are going to have to knock down some free throws, which has been a little bit of a struggle for them tonight. Well, they've made their last six, but 
Some of those misses early kind of mm -hmm. haunting them now. And oh, yeah. Now they've made seven yeah, in a row. Right See, there is no announcer jinx. No. Nope. Ha! <laughs> it's been debunked officially. Yes. Miller's got four. And now five. Back to a one possession game. Cruisenberry, Brust, 4-3. Got oh. it! What a shot by Jackson Brust. Stones. He hit a few big threes in the game last year, and he just hit a big one here. Lee, too strong. Anderson somehow, somehow. kept the ball in wow. bounds on the baseline. Amazing. I have no idea how he did that. Price steps through off the glass too high. Rebounded by Miller. So here comes Bentonville down six. 145 to go. On the floor. Yep, foul before the drive, but it will be a one and one. Yeah, but man, what a save by Anderson. After the shot by Brust, who's had some big moments in football and in basketball in his Wolverine career. That might be another one if this outcome holds. Jalen Lee at the free throw line, one and one. That's a miss. And oh. now we've got a hook. Yeah. And they're going to call it on Anderson. Yeah. Deerman draws the contact, and maybe that injects some life into the Tiger side. Yeah, just the third on Anderson, yeah. So Deerman will shoot the one and one. Spun him just enough, took him off his feet and to the ground. Waller back in, Williams out for Coach Rippey and the Tigers. Yeah, I think Coach White was thinking maybe that might have been embellished, but he did. That was Oscar worthy. One and one for Deerman. He oh hit, my goodness. didn't get the hometown bounce. Oh. Out of bounds, last touch by West. Yeah, he was on the line, but man. How does that happen? <laughs> In your home gym, no less. Yeah. That's I mean, it bizarre. touched every inch of the rim almost. West is going to take a full timeout, and so will we. 141 left. Bentonville West by six. This is Who Paul South presented by Walmart. Forty-one to go. It is Tiger ball on the baseline, and Bentonville's down by six. Don't necessarily need a three. You just need a basket. Still a two-possession game. Waller's back in there. Deep three, Lee. Oh. Yes. First bucket of the second half. No. 12 now for Lee, my mistake. Oh, almost forced a turnover. Oh, Price might have got away with a walk. Price goes in, missed the shot. A little out of control. Here's Waller the other oh. way. Lee tracks down the loose ball. Lee, another triple. Tiger. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Lee has tied it up. 44 <laughs> all. Wow. 108 to go in the battle down 102. Anderson fouled on the way to the cup. That was Waller. That'll be his fourth. Well, we might have so, some extra basketball in store for us tonight. So two big shots by Jalen <laughs> Lee to erase a six-point lead like that. Yeah. 
They gave that foul. They announced Collins. Oh, they did. With the foul. Okay. That's his second. That's a break for the Tigers. Anderson puts West back in front. West is now 12 of 15 at the foul line tonight. Wow. That may very well be the difference if they are victorious tonight, what they did at the foul line. Anderson makes them both. He's got 23. 105 left. It's a two-point game. Oh. Lee has it taken from behind by James. Oh. And then it goes out of bounds. Ooh. Lee claims it was off Cruisenberry. I thought it might have been, to be honest. But it'll be Wolverine ball on the baseline. Well, the official was right there looking at it, though. He had a good angle on it. Into Anderson. No need to foul here yet if you're Bentonville. She you cannot let them score here. Anderson's got it. 20 on the timer. 44 on the big clock. Anderson. Lost it. Ball well, loose. After it is Waller. He's trying to call a timeout. And they call it a held ball. Well, and West has the arrow. Wouldn't give him the timeout. That's what he's asking. He said, we tried to call a timeout. They're discussing it with the ref, but he said no. He made the Jump call. Ball. Yeah. So now West has it, and there's 12 on the shot clock. And, and I think West has called yeah. a timeout to set something up here. So yeah. they'll look at their best baseline out-of-bounds play here with 35.9 showing, and West leading by two. It is a timeout for Bentonville West. So the yeah. jump ball is still yes. the call. And then after that, West got the timeout. Yeah, looking at the officials reading some lips, he's like, are you sure there wasn't a timeout? He said, no, they did not have sole possession to make the timeout. Right. I had dual possession, so you can't call a timeout that's, in that situation. Yeah, you can't call a timeout without the ball. Yes, you, you've got to actually have possession of the ball in that situation. So... Well, the key thing right now is there's 12. Or he didn't control it either. Right. So, The key thing right now is there's 12 seconds on that shot clock yes. here for this Bentonville West possession. Yep. So 46-44. West trying to win for the third time here in Tiger Arena. And the Tigers, who have been tied or trailed for most of the second half, trying to sneak out with a win. Yeah. I mean, even if you get a foul, even if you're fouled, you're going to get two because you're in the double bonus. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, you know. Both sides in the double bonus. Both sides with one timeout remaining. Ooh. James to inbound it from the baseline. They get it to Price. He scores. <laughs> Dawson Price. Big bucket. Two possession game. Shot clock off. Lee. In, yes. Wow. 17 for Lee. And Benville's going to burn their last time out. Back to a two-point game with 22.1 left. So that's well. the last time out for Bentonville. West still has one in their pocket. So if they can't get it inbound, they can burn. They can take it. But now you've, I mean, you've got to get a turnover here and... Well, if you don't get the steal, you got to foul. Yeah, you got to foul quickly. Now you got to go over all that. And then, okay, if we do foul and he hits one, this is what we're going to have to run. Now, West is going to try and get the ball to Tucker Anderson. Oh, yes. Who's been fantastic at the foul line. The Tigers want anybody but him at the free throw line right now. Yeah, and do you put Miller on the baseline and let him guard the inbounds? I mean, there's just so many things you can do yep. here. Lee's been the one guarding Anderson some. Waller has two, but yeah. Mm. And it's hard to get a steal in this situation, too. I mean, I know that's what you want to do, yeah. but it's so much easier said than done. 
And if, you, if you're West, do you pull the deal where you have two guys on the baseline yeah. and pass it over? Just You just need a little space. you got to get the ball in first and foremost. Well, they may. It looks like they're going to put all the guys and run okay. kind of a pass pattern here yeah. from the baseline. So <laughs> it looks like backyard football. Jeff Coat operating. Oh, he's got to get it in. That's got to be close. That's five. That five count. Yep. Oh my goodness! Oh no, they're going to say West got the timeout. Oh. Well, let's see. He called five. He called five. The referee the, back here yes. called it a timeout. Yeah. Now they're going to get together and make sure. And Boy, Coach Rippey has given it to the official. Yeah, he is irate. But the thing is. They gave him the timeout. Wow. Nobody saw the official yeah. over here who was in front of the West bench because we're, so, all, we're all watching right there. So I would imagine when it got to four, Greg White yeah. said, hey, I, I need a timeout. Yes. I need it now. Well, now both sides are out of timeouts. Wow. Good defense, though, by the Tigers. I mean. Unique formation, and he, he had it. He had yeah. a couple guys open, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. You're exactly right, though. That was all – the timeout was happening behind all the yes. action. Greg White right there with the official. Yes. And – Alertly. Yeah. He saved the Jeff, possession. Yeah, yeah, seeing Jeff Coat was in trouble, and everybody's focused on that. Yep. We forget the third official's back here, so the trail official. Oh, my goodness. So now it's going to be to see what West comes out here on the inbounds, Derek. Do they do the same thing again, or do they give a different look? And a little different look this time. 22.1. Jeff Cote, a long pass oh intercepted by Miller. Bentonville needs a two to tie and a three for the lead. Shot clock off. No timeouts. Lee drives. Lost the lost handle. It. Out of bounds to West. He just lost it. He did. It didn't look like anybody got a hand in there or anything from up here. No. Nope. Well, now Bentonville's got a foul. Yeah. Okay, Coach Cruisenberry. Rippey's Cruisenberry. already given the signal. Got a foul immediately. Cruisenberry in. Jeff Coat out for West. 12.8. It's not over by a long shot. It's oh, man. into Anderson. They're not fouling. They didn't want to foul him. Eight seconds. Cruisenberry nearly traveled. They got a foul. Cruisenberry to the corner. Time's going to run out here. And yeah. now they give the foul with 2.9 yeah. to go. Burned way too much clock. They had the chance to I understand you don't want to foul Anderson, but yeah. you've got to save time. And yeah, the time. Credit, we credit West for burning off. The majority, what, at least 10 but seconds? At least. The time was more important than who you fouled there. Anderson yes. missed at the oh, line, though. Oh, my goodness. So, at worst, it's a three-point game yeah. if he makes this one. Well, and now you wish you had those 10 seconds back if you'd fouled him earlier. Neither side has a timeout. Mm. Chaos in the battle down 102. Anderson made one out of two. Okay. Well, a three would tie it. Yep. 2.9 to go, no timeouts. To oh midcourt, it's picked by Price. Ball game over. Wolverines win. What a game. Tucker Anderson finishes with 24, and the Wolverines win again in Tiger Arena. 49 to 46. What a game. That's just, this is becoming habit between these two now. Just yeah. another wild game. And the Wolverines stay perfect on the year, Blair. They're 9-0, and they're 1-0 in conference play. Yeah, impressive. Bentonville drops the 7-2, 0-1 in conference play. and Now you got to put this behind you and play again tomorrow, both teams. Yeah. Well, Tucker Anderson may have been overlooked a little bit <laughs> in the buildup to this event, but they know his name now. Yes, they do. 24 points tonight, including the free throw that helped secure the victory for the Wolverines. And they'll celebrate with their student section on the far sideline for the second time in this calendar year in this building. Well, Blair, let's do it again tomorrow. How about yeah, that? Let's do it. Have this, yeah. Six on tap tomorrow. It's going to be a great day for basketball.
Noon is the start time for our first game tomorrow, and we hope you will join us then. Another uh, Arkansas team in action, Little Rock Christian, taking on the Whitney Young team we've seen out of Chicago a couple times. So for Blair Cartwright, Jimmy Smith, I'm Derek Ruskin. Good night from Bentonville. The Wolverines win a wild one, 49-46, here at Hoop Hall South, presented by Walmart.